you speeding southbound And her whistle wants the blues And my heart says cold as the ice and snow That fills these walking shoes That old smokestack keeps barking back to me And seems to say we'll carry you on Oh, restless one I had my smile away on a husky sleigh To the land of the midnight sun And I kissed the squaw at the wigwam door Many times I faced a gun Brown Eskimo didn't want me to go And I told her I must run And she gave me the name of the restless one Then I strolled into a tavern In that frozen land of fog Where I met a beautiful Indian maid She was known as the Morning Star Her eyes were bright like the northern lights When they chased the Arctic moon And I knew she was born For the restless one Hey guys, welcome to the Restless Outdoors So I have here the Jackson Cusa HD Which I bought roughly about three years ago Actually I did a video I'll put it up here in the cards Of the kind of overlook of this kayak And after three years, I've really, really used this thing quite heavily. It's actually filthy and dirty, well used, but well loved. This thing is a beast. And I kind of want to go over some of the things that I've changed uh, since I've purchased this and my experience with this kayak. And as a matter of fact, tonight we're going to be going on a little fishing trip, uh, uh, kind of fish for catfish at night. So that should be fun in the kayak, of course. So stay tuned for that. Now I've owned many boats in the past. To me, a kayak is something that, again, you could see I hang it on the wall. It's out of the way. I don't need to pay for storage or anything like that. I can literally just throw it in my truck and go anytime I want to. The fact that you can fish very shallow waters is what makes uh, any kayak really uh, kind of the advantage out there when you're fishing. Okay, enough blabbing. Let's actually go over what I did and the changes that I made with the Jackson Cusa HD. So one thing you're going to notice is that my fish finder is gone. After about a year and a half, I ditched it. I'm more of a sight fisherman and primarily fishing rivers too. I really felt that I did not need a fish finder, uh, especially in shallow waters like that. I did use it in lakes, but again, just really just to see what was underneath me, see how deep the water actually was. But So again, the first thing I did, yank out the fish finder, did not need it. Another thing that I changed up is I purchased another Ram Tube Junior. Uh, it did come with one, and it also came with the Ramrod 2007. I, I rarely use this guy, so now I actually run with two of these. I love these fishing rod holders. You can adjust these guys to any configuration you want. Up, down, left, right, upside down, whatever you can think of. Plus, it actually can hold your parking pole, which is this guy right here, uh, in the ground and adjust it in any which way you want to. So th these things are invaluable. I highly recommend these fishing uh, rod holders. So another neat addition that I actually purchased for this kayak is a dog leash uh, anchor system. Now I've used goats on uh, the Cuyahoga River. We are fishing for smallies. This thing is invaluable. And it's awesome because it basically runs the rear of the kayak. You have little eyelets and a channel where the rope kind of glides through. And then what you have is uh, a port for an anchor towards the rear of the kayak and basically I purchased this three and a half pound anchor uh, again all you have to do is press this button here it releases it when you're done you press it and hold it and then you just kind of pull it up again unbelievable I love it uh, especially when you find that prime spot uh, where the fish are so awesome addition it's fairly cheap too and finally the last thing I did was change out all these bungees they had the black bungees I wanted to kind of spruce it up and color it up so I went with this kind of like a neon green and a yellow. I went all throughout the kayak. I thought it added kind of like a nice little pop to it. Again, it's more aesthetic than anything. Didn't really improve the kayak, but I thought it kind of did improve the look of it. So, and I have it all throughout the front and the back. I also have it on my black box here and towards the rear of the tank well. So there you go, guys. I hope you appreciate some of the things that I've done to this kayak. Again, after three years, I still am in love with this thing. It, it is a beast. I call it kind of like my little battleship when I'm out there fishing. It paddles unbelievably. I'd highly recommend it for anyone that's still looking to get a kayak. I know this is a 2015 now, but uh, the newer models did make some changes, but they're essentially the same hull. So again, you guys will love it if you do purchase this. So anyways, again, enough blabbing because that's all I'm doing here. Let's go fishing. 
Yeah. Bam! <laughs> and we are loaded up, ready to go. So, it's enough talking. Let's go. Go, baby. Big baby. Ah. Okay, where are we going to now? We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's top secret. I can't tell you in case there's anybody watching this video, which there's probably not. I ah. see the subscriber <laughs> list. Ah. No, dude, I think we're gonna head to Mosquito. I like how you put a camera in my face to make me decide. So, well, I'm yeah. nailing you down because you are very indecisive. Super indecisive. So, it, since, since we've been here, he's already picked like four different lakes to go to. <laughs> where initially we're gonna go to Mosquito, but then he's like, well, what about this and this? I'm like, oh. So, anyways, yeah, we're on our, actually, we're on our way to the bait shop. Okay, so just like that, we pretty changed plans. <laughs> not my fault, by no, the way. No, not, not Jeff's fault, but. Uh, we were gonna score some live bait, but it ain't gonna happen. So now we're gonna get frozen bait and we're gonna probably hit a different lake now. So probably gonna hit Ledoux, I think. Ledoux! Ledoux! <laughs> so Ledoux is the, oh man, I almost gave it away. Anyways, yeah, so Ledoux, beautiful lake. You've never been there, it's awesome. <laughs> Constantly uh, changing your mind. So where are we not going to now? Not my fault, man. No, no again, not your fault. Not again. <laughs> Plan C. Where are we going? West Branch. Guys, we're going to West Branch right now. So yeah, we launch here at this gravel parking lot. Oh, yeah. And uh, so I caught the catfish on that side over there. Don't be showing everybody. Oh. Pfft. Okay, we're here. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Plan, we'll call this plan D. <laughs> plan D. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of took a road and realized we we're going to be in the state park and the park's closed at 11, so we plan on doing this. Uh, Since we got such an early start. <laughs> such an early start, so we're going to. Uh, oh, look, someone wrote something on the. Uh, what does that say? Card. Caro. Anyways, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna launch here, and we're probably gonna go to the what would that be? The east end? Something like that? I don't know. Who knows? We're just gonna go because it's getting ready, getting dark, and the moon's out. Probably can't even. Oh, there's the moon. How long was that uh, to get everything ready, Jeff? About a half hour, 45 minutes? <laughs> so, uh, with this light aiming right at me, I can't see diddly squat. Hopefully I'm not gonna run into Jeff. So I got Jeff behind me. What we're using are these, uh, frozen uh, shads here. I ended up cutting off the tail and uh, we'll see if we catch any now. No flatheads in here, but might be able to catch a channel cat or something like that. Something of, I don't know, maybe good size, so we'll see. But it's a pleasant night. It's going to be in the 30s and uh, uh, I don't know, I'm very comfortable. So, I guess we'll see what happens here. Now, night fishing, I have never had any luck night fishing. I love the concept of night fishing, uh, but like I was telling, like I was telling Goat, 
I'm like, I never caught anything night fishing, so. But I've never used frozen shad like this, so. I don't know, we'll see. But, anyways, it's so great to be out here. Very comfortable. Um, the stars are out. Uh, the moon is out. Uh, it's about a quarter of the moon, maybe maybe almost half, so. It's kind of lighting everything up, but. Anyways, we fish on. Hopefully we get something. So we're going to move right now because we're uh, not getting diddly squat. Oh, and dude, I didn't know I was on the camera. Oh, yeah. Where are we going to go now? I don't know, man. You think in the... Uh the bridge? Let's go to the bridge. Okay. It's right behind us. Let's check it out. Cool. I didn't know I was on camera. I thought you were just talking to me. Okay. You should always, Jeff, as a YouTuber, <laughs> you should always assume you're on camera and be ready. <laughs> God, I gotta teach you everything. <laughs> I bet you on film this doesn't even look like we're on water. We're probably like totally faking this, like yeah. we're in my backyard on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely getting colder. Had to put the gloves on. But the good thing about being in the kayak, you can actually kind of warm yourself up by just paddling. So I got to turn this light off because I can't see where I'm going. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we're under a bridge. Very deep here, almost 30 foot deep. So Jeff's over there. We will see if we catch anything here. I don't know. Um, we're marking fish, but it definitely is cold. I think the water temperature is like in the 40s, so uh, I guess we'll see. But right now I do have my drag set very lightly, so if something does grab it. There's musky in here too, so I don't know. Very echoey in here. And cars do uh, come over very once in a while. It's on a very well-traveled road, but... We'll sit here for a while and see what we can come up with. But it is nice. It is nice just to be out here. What time do you think it is, Jeff? You know what time it is? Oh, really? Oh, so... According to Jeff, it's midnight. We were supposed to be out of here about an hour ago, but uh, nothing yet. Um, we pretty much encompass kind of like a pretty good area, but uh, not even a bite, no nothing. Uh, the only thing we're catching out here is a cold, but um, we're learning, man. yeah, we are learning. Uh, again, not a big. Uh, uh, experienced fisher at night um, but it's still great to be out here I'm just looking at Jeff's fish finder not that I can read your fish finder from here but it is freaking bright so we're probably going to be wrapping it up here pretty soon um, you would think what we have to present the fish would be even a nibble would be great, <laughs> but there's nothing. So, again, we're probably going to wrap it up, but like I said, we'll uh, probably meet you back at the car when we're loaded up. So, unless something crazy happens, like we actually catch a fish. <laughs> so, but at least it's springtime here in Ohio, and, uh, uh, you know, better days are coming, especially the, uh, the smallies and... Uh, uh, the northern pike are going to be uh, going crazy in the river, so that'll be fun. So, okay, we continue on. Hey guys, we just got back here. 
Um, it's freezing. It's free. It's like 30 degrees. Yeah, so cool. really, I don't know what the hell we were thinking actually doing a fishing <laughs> trip right now, but uh, it's probably what, 1.30 in the morning? Yeah, yeah close. So, Maybe, something like yeah. that, yeah. But um, man, like it's I said. It's fun, no it, fish. No fish, but it was a good time. It was. And uh, like I said, uh, this is something that uh, anyone that wants to buy a Jackson kayak, do it, man, because I'm gonna tell ya, uh, actually, the big news here, this might be the new owner of a Jackson Man. or an ocean kayak, we're gonna find so, out. So I did own one, did you tell him the story? I didn't tell him the story. Oh my God, I'm so incisive. So I ordered <laughs> one, right, I'm talking to Adam, it's like, boom, it's, we were gonna go fishing or something and it was like pouring rain. So at five <laughs> o'clock in the morning, we call each other like, dude, we kind of wussed out. Oh. We're like, dude, it's pouring, <laughs> you know? And so we start looking, and he's like, dude, you should buy a kayak. I'm like, okay, that's a like, pretty good idea. In a matter of like a, a half hour from us fishing in the morning to not fishing, he goes and buys a kayak. <laughs> I bought, so I bought a Jackson, right? I'm like, boom, I found this like sweet Cuda. And uh, so yeah, I, so I, I call him like an hour later, like, yeah, I bought that boat. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started like doing my research after I already bought a boat. And then I got confused because I like this other model. The Liska. Yeah, so. Which is a good, uh, uh, yeah. another good boat. So I called the company and I'm like, hey, I don't want that boat. And uh, so they shipped it. And they said you can cancel it once you, it gets there. Yeah, yeah, they're like, don't worry, just, <laughs> it'll get to your house, just don't sign for it and send it back. Yep, 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 yep. So later that day, I'm like, now I want that boat. I'm watching all these videos. I'm like, this boat is awesome. So I'm like, it's like delivery day. I'm like, watch it. We're on the phone because he's yeah. calling me. He's like, it's coming within like the next hour. Yeah. And then. And it never showed up. So I called the company. They're like, oh yeah, we stopped at halfway in transit. I'm like, oh So actually, man. Jeff should have had his kayak, like I right. said, on Wednesday. And, uh, but, oh well. So now it's back probably at, well, where'd you get it? At Bad Country? Yeah. So it's probably back there by now. So we're going to see. If they're gonna ship it back or but because I emailed them said I want it back now. Yeah. But they're probably yeah. like we're done with that dude because he's so indecisive. He said he did, he didn't, and they did again. But eventually he'll have a kayak. And right. like I said, we're gonna be uh I don't know when our next uh fishing uh, adventure is gonna be, but it's gonna I don't be know, soon. We got Shenandoah coming up in like two or three weeks. I right? know, I know. So that's so. gonna be whew. but anyways guys, listen, it's freezing cold, it's one third in the morning, we're tired. And uh, we appreciate if you've uh, stuck around this long to watch. So, anyways, guys, catch you it's later. It's not one o'clock for them, dude. The They're gonna watch it tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay, guys, see ya. Later.